Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released tvOS 17.2 to the public. tvOS 17.2 is available on all tvOS 17 supported devices and is available around the world at the same time for everyone. This was released alongside many other updates with iOS 17.2, iPadOS 17.2, watchOS 10.2, macOS 14.2, and more. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's new as this has some significant updates. As you can see below the Apple TV, the version number is tvOS 17.2 with a build number of 21K365. If we go back to our home screen here, we actually have some nice updates, specifically if we go into the TV app. That's one of the biggest changes in this version. For example, they actually got rid of movies on iTunes and TV shows and moved them to the TV app. So if we go into movies for iTunes, it redirects you to the TV app. The same is true if we go to TV shows. Everything is now under the TV app from Apple. So if we go into the Apple TV app, you'll see our normal TV setup just like we normally have. But if we swipe to the left, we have an all new menu bar. We've got search at the top here. We have home, Apple TV, MLS season pass, our sports store library, and then any channels and apps that we might have as well. If we go into those channels and apps, maybe it's discovery plus we can go into that and see other shows that are available within discovery plus. So it brings everything sort of into the same place at once. If we go back and swipe left, you'll see here at the top, we have our profiles as well. So if we go into our profile, click on this, it brings up other profiles that we have on our iPad, our iPhone, and everything that carries across to Apple TV. Again, if we swipe left, we can go into our library and see anything that we've already purchased. So it loads like this. We have our movies and TV shows on the left, and then we can actually take a look at it through genres as we have sort of a new sidebar as well. So we have animation, comedy, documentary, drama, kids and family, nonfiction, and all the way down to TV shows. So it's really nice. They've reorganized this, made it a little bit easier to navigate around and just find what you're actually looking for. We also can use voice search in many of the apps so we can search throughout the apps for different things. So find deadliest catch. If we search for that, it finds the different TV shows within the apps themselves. And it's just really convenient to be able to go through this and find what we're looking for. So whether that be Disney plus Hulu or the combined app or anything else, we'll now be able to see that on our device. Another thing that's been updated has to do with the overall sound. Now this is specific to if you're actually using SharePlay, but SharePlay now supports new audio options. We can use Dolby Atmos along with Dolby Digital Surround. So if you're using that, maybe you have Dolby Atmos enabled, it actually will work across SharePlay now where it wouldn't before. Also, we have some new audio options if we're using Apple Fitness Plus. If we go into the fitness app, and maybe we'll use it with this one. Give it just a second here to confirm on my iPhone. If we go down to a workout here and maybe we want to use, maybe we'll just go into one here, Pilates with Daryl. Give it a second, we'll say, let's go. Within our options here at the top, we have audio options and we can now change it to focus on the trainer or the music. So if we want the music to be a little bit louder than the trainer, we can switch it or switch it back and forth to whatever works best for us. So they've finally added this. That was actually promised with tvOS 17, but it never made it until tvOS 17.2. Another thing you can do is now answer a phone call directly on your Apple TV now. So if you're getting a FaceTime call and maybe you have continuity camera, you no longer have to confirm it on your iPhone. You can answer directly from the Apple TV. And as far as new features, those are all of the major features. There could be some small changes here and there, but at this point, it looks like those are the major features with tvOS 17.2. As far as bug fixes are concerned, we're not really sure as far as what they've fixed as Apple hasn't said, but hopefully they've resolved a few issues as I've had some issues overall with it just crashing and restarting on its own. I'm not sure if anyone else has, but that's been my experience with it. So I've been waiting for this update. Also, there's some security updates in this version. Apple has actually updated security on everything from iOS 17.2 to tvOS 17.2 as well. And on Apple's security website, you can see here that we have AV video encoder, image IO, kernel updates, WebKit, and it looks like a mention of Wi-Fi as well. So these are things they've actually secured. And if you want to read these, you can see for AVE video encoder, the impact was an app may be able to disclose kernel memory. 
The fix or the description is the issue was addressed with improved redaction of sensitive information. And then it gives the anonymous researcher as the person that tipped Apple off as to what the issue was. And so all of these things have been added along with bug fixes we don't know about and some nice new features as well. Now, if you found anything else in TVOS 17.2, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.